Uh, broadly, we have different types of machine learning. Um, they include supervised learning and supervised, semi-supervised reinforcement and, and reinforcement learning. Now, the distinction between these two, uh, supervised and unsupervised, is the use of the label a data set. In other words, in supervised learning, we have uh, labeled input and output data, while in unsupervised um, learning algorithm, we do not have those uh, labeled data sets. Uh, we can further break it down into two. So here we have regression and classification. Uh, in classification, uh, we are trying to solve a classification problem that has a categorical <clears throat> target variable. Okay, here um, the y is actually nominal. Okay, uh, while in a regression problem, we are trying to uh, solve a regression problem or reg perform regression analysis where the y is continuous, meaning that our dependent variable uh, is numeric. Okay, so for example, here, if we were to try to uh, create a model that predicts the price of a house in a given neighborhood, okay, the y here is the price of a house. Okay, this is a regression problem. And classification here, uh, for example, we're trying to uh, determine if a patient has cancer or not, or you took a COVID test, it can either be positive or negative. Okay, so we've already looked at classification. Uh, so in this video, we're going to look at regression, okay? Now, so what's regression analysis, okay? Now, regression analysis is used when we want to predict a continuous dependent variable, okay? So this is our dependent variable, okay? Um, from a number of independent variables. So our x here will be the independent variable, okay? Uh, the aim here is to find a line that minimizes the prediction error of all the data points. Now, given this equation, right? So given this equation, uh, we want to use a regression line, okay? We want to use a regression line um, to predict the values of y for values of x, okay? So in other words, we want to quantify a linear relationship between explanatory value, uh, variable, which is x, and a response variable, which is y. Okay, now if we look at this plot here, on the y-axis we have dependent variable and on the uh, x-axis we have the independent variable. The goal here is to try and find a best line that fits our data, okay? So the goal here is to minimize these distances from this data point to the line. The smaller the differences, the better our model, okay? So uh, again here, you can see the y here is continuous numeric. That means this is a regression problem. Also, other names we can call the response variable. Um, in some literature, you'll find that we call y the dependent variable or the output or the outcome variable, right? Or the target variable, okay? Uh, again, here for predictor variables, we can also call these independent variables or input variables or explanatory variables. Okay. Now, the difference between the actual and the predicted value, we call that the residual error. Okay. So the residual, the same as the difference between the actual value okay, minus the predicted value. Okay. So again, this is can be represented as y minus y hat. Y hat here is the predicted value and y here is uh, our actual value. Okay, now response variable here, basically is just a variable that we're trying to predict. So this variable is what we want to predict. Okay, and in our predictor variable here, uh, essentially this is just a variable that we use to predict the response variable. So predictor variable here is just a variable that we use to predict our response variable. Okay, all right, something just to keep in mind as well is that we can say X here, uh, you know, the X here uh, predicts Y, but we cannot say that X causes Y, something just to keep in mind, okay? Now that we know that, uh, let's look at some of the popular regression algorithms. So we have linear regression, decision trees, um, and in worker, we use what we call the support vector regression. 
right? Support vector regression. Um, reference as SMO reg. Okay. We also have KNN, random forest, ensemble methods like bagging, boosting. In worker, we can find it in the matter folder. Also, neural networks. Now, decision trees here can handle both classification and regression problems. Similarly, here for neural networks, in worker, we call it multi layer perceptual. In fact, if you go here in worker, classify tab, click choose, you can see here functions. We have linear regression. Okay. We have SMO uh, reg, the support vector machine uh, for regression. Um, again, if you go to meta here, uh, you can see this is where we have ensemble methods in worker. Okay. We can choose bagging here. We can choose uh, stacking. Uh, we can choose boosting and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, in fact, here we can see we also have, if you click, click on trees, we have random forest. Okay. Uh, again, here we can see this is the neural network. Okay. All right. So uh, in our next video, we're going to look at the evaluation metrics. Okay. Now, evaluation metrics are just a measure of how good a model uh, performs. In other words, how well it approximates the relationship between y, y, and x variable. Okay. So we'll start by looking at mean absolute error um, and all these other evaluation metrics.